It's getting colder and it's getting a little rainier, but Kyle had one thing on his list. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you okay? Oh. Okay, please tell me you got that. <laughs> that has to be, be worth it. Welcome to day two of our main travel vlog. We yesterday were in a race against time to watch the sunrise on the eastern coast, the easternmost point in the United States, Quaddy Head State Park by the Quaddy Head Lighthouse. We made it in time. It was a great, amazing, beautiful experience. And then afterwards, we drove the two, two and a half hours to Haiti National Park that's on Mount Desert Island and we drove through there into Bar Harbor. Today, we are going to check out of our bed and breakfast. Then we are heading to Cadillac Mountain. It's the highest point on the Eastern Coast as well. And then we are going to drive to Jordan's Pond. Let's get to it. Yeah, we're gonna put on our second layer of coats. Yes. I recommend two coats in the winter yes. for hiking. And you can always take off layers. You can never add them once you get out of the car. Yes. <laughs> so, honestly, the whole way driving up here, I could not believe that we were like right by the ocean as well. And yeah. I feel like we're in the middle of like. It's crazy up here. The mountains, which I mean, it is mountains, <laughs> but like it's crazy that we're by an ocean. I think mountains of in, as inland yeah. entities. Right. So. You ready to throw on some layers and go explore? Yes. All right, let's do it. It's cool. It's We're okay. little popsicles, but I mean, that was an amazing view and totally worth it. We're on our way down to Jordan's Pond next. Um, we're going to try to do most of the loop if we can, mm -hmm. um, depending on time. I mean, there's so much to see here. We have snacks packed in case we get hungry during the hike. Um, water packed, which speaking of which, we should drink some water before we go. And um, yeah, so we're going to go check it out. Actually, at the uh, gift shop and um, restaurant, they're closed for the season, which we're not surprised. Um, all is good with that, but we definitely can't believe the views that we're seeing. Like, I feel like everywhere we turn, it's a new magical place. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the hardest thing about this hike so far is knowing how many pictures to take. Yeah, it's we just... haven't gone very far. <laughs> yeah. That's where we're down here at least. Yeah, it's in the 40s with a brisk breeze. We didn't make it all the way around Jordan's no. Pond, but we knew we were going to be short on time. So yeah. it's about a, a little afternoon. This is our deadline to start heading back to Portland. We got to stop for lunch along the way and grab some snacks at a grocery store. But we should be in Portland at about five o'clock tonight. Woo! Woohoo! You ready to go? Yeah. at the big 
chicken barn and antiques. I'm really excited. Yeah. This was not on our plan for today, but yesterday we happened to be waiting at our uh, hotel to check in and I saw a flyer for it and then we were leaving town and I, we saw a sign about books and so we looked it up and it happened to be on our route, which just happens to be perfect for me. This is one of the things on Kyle's bucket list for this trip. Yes. We've seen a lot of amazing things, but uh, you know he's going to continue with his cider vlogging while we're here. Yeah. Um, or I should say blogging. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe there's a vlog. Maybe. Maybe there is. All right, let's go. returning our rental car and it is no joke here. We have cleaned out every crevice of the car. <laughs> we almost lost a glove. Almost. Almost. We triple checked that we had all cell phone chargers and we have all the cider packed away. And now we're gonna return it and get a shuttle to our hotel. Woohoo! I was very good and I did not cheat and go to too many things without <laughs> Kyle this morning. So, you're proud of me? Yeah. It was hard not to, I assure you. Yeah. So, we are on our way down to explore the bay and the little harbor area. We're very excited about that and we're trying not to get hit by a car. Then we're going to come back and we're going to go to a poke place for lunch. Woohoo! And then we're going to hit up like any shops we see and start heading towards bookstores. And then we're going to go to the urban farm for lunch yeah. Um, they have cider there. There's two things on this trip we're always looking for besides water, because I love water, is cider and books. Yeah. We found water. It's like 10 degrees colder than it was this morning. Cider and kombucha. Ooh. Which one is your favorite? We have the dry. The dry. The hopped and the seaweed. The dry. Hands down the dry? Yeah. The dry is definitely more you. It's got like a tartness to it. We're on our way to the Boda Thai restaurant on Conger Street. Kyle booked our Uber Lyft. 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 And all of a sudden it was like, he'll be here in two minutes. So our driver is here. We're rushing down. He's already here. Oliver? I'll sit on this time. Okay. How you doing tonight? Yeah. You? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh we're gonna find out. Alright. <laughs> Where are you heading? Uh Boda? No, I've never heard of it. It's a uh, Thai like a Thai something. We just left the Boda 
uh, Thai restaurant that we were going to. It eat. was fantastic. <laughs> um, they had excellent food and uh, they had some really nice ciders on the menu that were, were chosen perfectly to pair with the flavors and style of the food there. So we just ordered a bunch of tapas, which was perfect. Fantastic. Tofu, yeah. grilled portobellas. Bok choy. Bok choy, and then this um, um, like a rice, rice ball. ball. It was really interesting. It was crunchy. <laughs> I liked it. Um, and then we had a black rice pudding oh, for dessert. That I could eat that all day. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're headed to Novare Res um, Beer Hall Cafe, beer cafe, um, and we're gonna try some of their ciders that are some of the ones that uh, Port our main has that we haven't been able to find anywhere else. Right. Right. I'm excited. Yeah. There you go. Let's go. They they were all good mm -hmm. um, for different reasons mm -hmm. and in different ways. Well, bottom line is Portland's a great city to eat and drink in, and we're having a great time. And I don't want to leave tomorrow, but Kyle's gonna make me get on that plane with him. Good morning. It is Tuesday, November twelfth, last day in Portland. It's been. Um, just a great trip. Up on the menu today, we have um, our to-dos. We've got to check out of our hotel, store our bags. Then we're gonna uh, go to this coffee shop I found yesterday called Higher Grounds, and we're gonna grab some um, latte green tea lattes. Yesterday they were delicious, so I can't wait for my next one. Um, then we're gonna go check out the Portland Pie Company. Um, it's pizza. I know some of you are like, what? So I guess the question is, what we're ordering? Is it pizza or is it something else? Um, we, they have a cauliflower crust. Um, they also have vegan cheese. I'm also in, would like to seek out a chocolatier that maybe has dairy-free chocolate. Then, very sadly, but we all have to get back to our normal lives, we're going to take the um, shuttle back to the airport and head on back to Cleveland. We uh, just left the Portland Pie Company. So the question I proposed was, is it pizza if we're eating a gluten-free cauliflower crust, vegan cheese, and lots of vegetables? with the marinara sauce. Kyle, what's the verdict? The answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> There's all sorts of crazy pizzas, all right? Like, it doesn't have to be made with just the pizza. It was really good, and it was actually probably one of the closest things yeah. I've ever had that was like these like alternatives that tasted like pizza. We ate the entire thing. It was only a 10-inch pizza. Yeah, but it's still a lot of pizza for me. We're not big people. That's true. <laughs> So, Portland Pie Company, if you are not gluten-free or vegan, the rest of their pizzas smell fantastic. <gasps> amazing. Yeah. Smelled amazing. Looked like everyone else was enjoying them too. Yeah. We went at lunchtime, which was kind of perfect on a Tuesday. It wasn't very busy. So, uh, 13 out of 10 would, would recommend. Would recommend. Yeah. Off to get our chocolate fix. Thing he wanted to check off his list, which was to look for sea glass, and we haven't done that yet. So yeah. we have an extra hour before we can leave, so we're gonna go attempt to do that. Hopefully, Kyle will live in the process. <laughs> yeah. It's officially snowing. Kyle has snow in his beard. He is a trooper, though. He's gonna keep going, pressing on. We started collecting glass about two years ago. Um, we were actually at Lake Erie or the Rocky River or somewhere and we just found some cool pieces and ever since then we started a jar um, at our house of places we've been and a nice souvenir to take back with us. Because I don't know if we would have come to the beach today if we weren't looking for the glass before we leave. So I'm gonna go catch up with Kyle but I just found another piece. That one's 
kind of sharp. Still need some time. Okay, well, we can always throw them back. Let them be for someone else's plunger, or maybe they'll find us again. to the uh, Portland airport, and I would say that was the best TSA experience ever. Yeah, <laughs> there was no line. No lines, the nicest people working. Yeah. It didn't bother me at all. Good evening and welcome aboard 2181 going down to Baltimore. Go next. Yeah. We've got a few ideas. 